Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a, another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful, beautiful day. It's real nice and sunny out here, so we're making a nice little video talking more about some tiles and stuff. But before we do that, please check out the description box, all the nice links, all that stuff. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So there we go. With that out of the way, uh, let me just show you something that I added. Uh, I made a little, just a little mini example texture sheet. So it's basically just four different colors, supposed to represent... Uh, grass, sand, maybe some water. Um, and am I recording? Uh, yes, I am, it seems. Okay, we're good. So there you go. Now, I I, I loaded or I saved that file at least. Um, now, what we want to do is load it in. And we want to be able to change the tiles texture, basically. Um, and then the size of the texture, uh, what do you call it? The texture wrecked. Uh, so it knows kind of where to uh, where to sample the texture from. So the shape, for example, if we look at this, this dot set texture rect, and it's gonna take a int rect to set the texture rectangle for itself. Okay. Now, what I would have liked, the reason I'm using a uh, rectangle shape here, not a sprite is um is so i can get all the outline stuff if i want to do some debug i think no i'm not sure why i'm actually using it i think the sprite would have been better in our case um but that's a that's a very simple so i just kind of just talk some shit there i don't really know why why i use that but i think i think it was because of the set size yeah, it's because of this set size. So we'll keep the rectangle shape. Now that size thing won't matter since we're still using textures with that certain size. So it doesn't really matter. We can also do the global bounds thing. But uh, yeah, the tile will be the way it is. We're sending in a texture. Now what we need to do is we need to send in a SF int rect um, constant sf interact also the the texture can be const i'm pretty sure sf construct uh, let's just call it rect text rect let's just call it like that there you go you know what just go ahead and do that and then copy paste those and just no paste it right here and then we'll set a constant for this as well so there we go now once we have that what we can do is this shape dot set texture rectangle uh texture rect and this says that at least you know we can get the texture and then we can uh, set the texture rectangle as well but we need to send that in when we add a new uh texture in here but before I even do that, I'm just going to go ahead into tilemap.cpp and I'm going to load my tilesheet1 here. I changed that already. It's called tilesheet1. I'm just going to load that in. Uh, also, we fixed all the resize stuff here. Um, so that's good. Let's see. That's nice. Um, tilemap, tilemap, add tile right here. Right here. So this is going to want a texture rectangle. Um, const sf int rect texture rect. Now I'm going to look into making this a reference because I don't want to copy this all the time. Even though it's not that big of a deal. It's just four integer values. doesn't really matter. Uh, I can remove that as well. So we're just sending that in like that. And we're not saving that texture rect because that just, yeah, we're not, we don't have to save that actually. Uh, then I just want to copy this into uh, remove, no, not remove tile, only add tile. I want to copy it into the H file. I want to do this. Now comes the little harder part I'd say uh, in making sure that we have a 
a texture rect here. So SF int rect texture rect. Okay, we'll just call it texture rect. And this will allow us to, um, we don't need to do anything there. This will allow us to send it in as a reference later. So there we go. Once we have that, um, I'm going to send that in. I'm going to have to set it though to something. Where does it, where do we get our, this is where we get our grid size. So this texture rect dot left. Uh, I could actually just do this equals SF int rect and then we'll just do this zero zero this grid this state state data grid size and then we'll just do that twice like that and then it takes floats that's why it is uh, no suitable conversion SF interact. Oh no no no! What am I doing? Why am I am I dumb? Am I dumb? Okay, there you go. So static cast integer. I'm just gonna static cast these two integers. Like that. Might as well just copy the whole thing and just paste it in there. So there we go. So that is our uh, interact. And then something is going crazy down here. Yeah, there we go. And then we're just gonna do this. Um, texture rectangle. You know what we could do then? We could actually change this into a reference variable. Just make sure you change that everywhere though. In four files. Okay, these two and then these two. Where it actually takes a texture rectangle right there. Um, the texture rectangle. Okay, so once you do that, um, that should be fine. Where did it, where did that go? What did I close? Tile map dot CPP right there. Okay. So now hopefully that will add this. Okay. This. From this texture, it will add, let me just think here one second, it will add this texture rect and it is the grid size, which is 100, 100. So it should add the green, the green thingy. Yeah, that's what it should add. I'm going to do a little printout for that. How much time do we have? Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's just test this. We'll add a printout to the screen so we know which texture we're at. Uh, let's go to the editor. Yeah, we're using the green one here. Good. Very, very good. And there we go. Um, now, if we want to change that, we have this texture rect. We can go into, for example, for example, init GUI. Uh, let's see where we print out our text right here. This is just a little debug text. We'll make sure we have this in uh, where's the set text uh, this is the string stream okay there you go we'll make a new line we'll make sure this is a variable in these in the class so we can change it and kind of have it next to the mouse so we can see all our values and stuff like a little gui thingy or somewhere on the screen uh, we'll do a new line we'll say this texture rect dot left and then this texture texture rec dot uh, height no top okay so once you do that you should be able to see wherever our texture rect is and now we want to be able to change this okay so this is going to be a very hodgepodge kind of fix for this it won't be really the best um change texture if sf 
keyboard is key pressed. Um, now we're gonna have to add some key binds and stuff, but we'll we'll figure that out soon. Let's just let's just do this the old-fashioned way right now. This no, SF keyboard. Um, and let's say left. Let's just say left. So if we press the left button, what's gonna happen? And we're gonna use this key time as well. There we go. And then no right. Right is what I want to write. Uh, this. If this. Uh, what's it called? Texture, right? So we don't want to be able to go outside the texture. So if this texture, right? Dot right. No, dot width. Um, left is greater than this. Uh, da, 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 da. let's see but that is actually in the tile map that texture so what I probably want to do is have it in editor state and link it here so that I can use that but we'll just we'll just say this for now greater or equal to 100 this is just a little test okay uh, if it is less than 100 I'll say this texture rec dot left plus equals 100 okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that um, and that should move our texture to the to the right it's very 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 bad way to code you don't want to do this it's just to test stuff out just so you can change change the texture so grass blue and now i can't change back obviously but i did change the texture at least and we can just see that it is working so we have a nice little island here now um that's beautiful it's actually a pretty nice color i like that so there you go guys and girls very very simple um soon in the next video i'm just going to add that text thingy so we can see what's going on make sure this works so we can put in any texture sheet we want and it will use that and we can switch between all of the different textures in that texture sheet using our arrow keys or if you want to do a GUI thing where you can actually see all the textures I'll probably do that um, but yeah because we're not using IMGUI right now we will implement that soon but right now we're not using it so yeah doing our own thing but uh, once we do it'll be a, lo a little easier but this is just to train to do stuff for yourself because sometimes you won't be able to use IMGUI with some APIs and it's good to know how you do all these things on your own plus we're not making the world's most complicated uh, editor here so it doesn't really matter for our sake uh, but there you go guys and girls there you go one step closer thank you so much for all the support thanks for watching i hope you learned something and yeah keep working hard and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye